Hello, I'm Cyril Vanier. It's good to have you with us. This is the News Hour live from Doha. Coming up in the program today. Israeli airstrikes pound Gaza. The only power station in the Strip stops working after a fifth day of bombardment. Israel announces the formation of a wartime emergency government, preparing for further military action in the wake of Saturday's attack by Hamas. A barrage of rockets from Gaza hits the southern Israeli city of Ashkelon, hitting a hospital. And more exchanges of fire across Israel's northern border with Lebanon. Besieged, bombarded, and now without power. We begin in Gaza, where neighborhood after neighborhood has been reduced to rubble under a relentless onslaught of Israeli strikes. At least 1,055 Palestinians have been killed so far. The enclave's sole power plant has now run out of fuel after Israel imposed a total siege. 2.3 million Palestinians are bracing for total darkness. And a hospital in the city of Ashkelon in Israel has been hit. At least 1,200 Israelis have been killed since Hamas launched its military offensive on Saturday. Hundreds of civilians among the dead. Back to Gaza, where disturbing footage is coming out of hospitals. Medicines and essential supplies are running out. And at least nine people working with the UN Refugee Agency, we just found this out, have been killed in Israeli airstrikes. And local authorities have issued this appeal for help. People are dying here and the whole world is silent. This is nothing but hypocrisy and dual standards. If we are people of a different skin, it would have been different. However, we are all humans. We are suffering. The whole world is witnessing. However, the whole world is not moving a finger. Till when will you continue to witness these atrocities? This is an SOS to the whole world. You must lend a helping hand to us. Well, Al Jazeera correspondents are standing by to bring us the very latest. Charles Stratford is in Netivot. That's in.